Hi, this is Food All You Never Wanted to Know. We're gonna learn a little bit more today about the long pie pumpkin. We got the seed for this from Fenco Seeds, which is in Maine. They have tons and tons of cool heirloom seeds. And as you see, these two are partially ripened now. It's been about a month since we picked them in the hoop house. They were completely green, except each had a little orange spot on the side where it hit the ground. So these two are completely ripe. They've totally turned orange, and we have more in the basement that are orange too. But today, we're gonna try to cook this one, and we're not making a pie. We're just gonna cook it and see, and see what it's like. I usually like to taste it first. And then we do cool things like baking. Okay, so it's bright orange, light orange inside. It smells like pumpkin. <laughs> Unlike the, the, uh, the other squash that we did recently, the pink banana squash. Oh my goodness, that just smelled just, I can't even describe how that smelled. So I like to use a grapefruit spoon. If you can see, it has little ridges to get seeds out of squash. Now I could have seed saved this, but then I forgot that it was in the same family as the spaghetti squash. <sighs> Sorry. So I planted them too close together. So I won't be able to seed save this year. And if we like it, we'll try it again next year. So anyway, that's what it looks like inside. And we're gonna bake it in the oven with a little bit of butter possibly inside. And we'll come back later and do a taste test for it. All right, the long pie pumpkin is out of the oven. And that looks really nice. That looks pretty, that looks pretty smooth. Now it's not as thick fleshed. If you're comparing it to some of the other squash, it's kind of thin, but that's okay. One, one of the larger ones is supposed to make a pumpkin pie. So I'm gonna taste this and see what the flavor is like. Okay, it's more like a nutty flavor. It's not super sweet, like the long pink banana squash, but I think this would make delightful pie because of the smooth consistency. You could just take a fork and mash this up. I mean, of course, you'd want to blend it a little bit, maybe put it through a food processor, but that would make a really good pie, which is why the name is Long Pie Pumpkin. So this is Food All You Never Wanted to Know. Please like, share, subscribe. Take care.